Oh crap, what happened? No! That was a misclick. I'm gonna load because I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to change the production in this city and apparently I clicked on Settle, the great scientist. This is definitely not what I want. I want to uh, see what tax I can pop with it. Uh, so I will load the auto save. Sorry about that. That's no, just a misclick. Misclicks are ugly. They are a very legitimate le reason to reload. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> very legitimate reason to reload because I just simply didn't mean to do that. Even though settling is not bad. Provides a lot of uh, beakers. A lot of science. Come on, work a little harder. Here we are. I can pop paper with this guy, which is decent. I can also build another academy, of course, in another city. Uh, maybe I'll settle it anyway, but I just want to contemplate my options. I can show you the menu where it shows every city I have. It, this is really what I love about this game. These information screens are awesome. You can just select uh, your best building city or the city with the most science, which is Rome, who generates 80. This is half of the science we generate in the entire empire. Um, no, I don't think Academy is, is what I want. Also very cool is you can just click on this and you go to the city. And if you escape, you go back to the menu. It's it's genius. I want, I don't understand why they took these kinds of menus out of Civilization V. I really hate that game. It was the last game I buy without seeing any reviews or playthroughs or stuff like that. I will never do that again. It's a waste of my money. And the shitty thing is I can't even sell it because it's on Steam. But let's not rant about that. I um, mm, 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 I think I'll either save this guy or settle him anyway. I, I might settle him. Why not? This 9 science. It will go through all the modifiers. Like the academy and the library. I'm gonna settle him anyway. Sorry. Sorry for the reload. I just wanted to think about it. 187 science and it's still in the BC's. That's uh, pretty decent actually. My record is about 300 but it was a sick game. And it was on uh, Prince, I think, not on Monarch. Actually the fastest you can go is on Emperor because the computer is pretty fast in uh, technologies and you can tech trade uh, better. Calum. For everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Santa's world map, but we already had that. We can now build a plantation on these die uh, resources, which is good. Now let's just rush to um, liberalism. Uh, let's see, we got another settler. This is awesome. I'm gonna build uh, these things everywhere because we will get. I'm just gonna assume we will get the palace, the apostolic palace. We will chop every single piece of forest over here. I will divert all workers now uh, that are finished in the job and get that palace there. And still lit a little bit of work on the defense, of course. Let's make sure this uh, city uses every single tile it can. And let's chop everything inside. Nice, the settler arrived, so our borders are secure. Unless they send a boat and settle over here, which will annoy me. And if they annoy me, they will die. They don't realize that yet, but they will die anyway, don't worry. Ah, a slave revolt. This happens occasionally. Um, usually in the capital, but only at one time it didn't happen in the capital. Restore order first is generally the best option. You can crack down, which will take two population. You just basically wipe out the slave revolt. You can uh, 
sit around the table and ask what they want, or they can ignore it and hope it goes away. It can just simply go away, but it can also last for 10 turns. I will restore order, spend 14 bucks, and uh, leave it at that. Taoist monasteries and temples are uh, very handy now because I'm gonna assume I'll complete uh, the palace. Uh, they will boost production in the city immensely. And um, oh, that's a good thing. Production is good. Oh, what happened? I saw something appear I did not like. It's a barbarian city. This will not stand. Oh yeah, you need to go to this city. Sorry. You want calendar for aesthetics? I don't like that deal at all. Aesthetics is a very cheap tech. Oh, so is calendar, really. 70 gold with it. Currency is even more expensive. Why well, not? Art for art's sake is an empty phrase. Art for the sake of truth. Art for the sake of the good and the beautiful. Give some wonders. That is the faith that I am searching for. This is Sid. Sid Maya, by the way. The voice you just heard. I cannot live without books. And that's Leonard Nimoy again. This gives us the University of Sankor, I wonder. And uh, it's also one I intend to build. I'm going to do this pretty peacefully, actually, at the start. Because of our great starting location and all the marble and stone we have. <coughs> uh, education will lead us to liberalism. I think we'll use liberalism to uh, get divine right as a free technology. Oh, get away. That settler was there to build a city, but we gotta wipe out the barbarians first. Ah, uh, we're chopping away like crazy. This went from 1500 turns to 140 pretty quickly, you know. Uh, needs to go even faster. Kill! Yes. Well, he didn't get it in one go, but he will definitely die next turn. We might lose a Praetorian, but uh, I'm gonna push on. Promote him against the arches. Makes him a little bit more effective. He is damaged, but... Uh, he is a Roman! And Romans will not yield. Yeah, we can still uh, grow a little. Uh, we have reached the health cap of Rome, which means it will be a smelly city uh, if it grows some more, but that's okay. Um, it will just grow less uh, uh, fast. It will grow slower. Most powerful. We are uh, number eight, but I was kind of expecting that. We haven't built that many units, and this part of the coastline is particularly weak. Uh, but uh, I don't think anybody can really mount a coastal invasion. Oh wow, I've been forgetting to get a fishing boat here for like a thousand years now. Let's remedy that right away. Sorry about that, it was a pretty sloppy play. I'm pretty sure at least one or two viewers have seen it and were thoroughly annoyed by me forgetting about it. I know I would have been. <laughs> so sorry about that. Hmm. Ah, Buddhist temple is nearly done. Still 38% chance of a great profit, but it's coming really, really late now. I'm definitely gonna use divine. Uh, uh, it's definitely gonna use liberalism to get divine right and get the profit because. Uh, hmm. This is one of the reasons I edited uh, the way I did. Um, 
Sometimes it's just freakishly hard to get a profit because, well, in this case I built a great wall and my plans messed up. And if you really, really need it, uh, you can use Divine Right like this to get it. University of Sankor takes uh, 75 turns. It will be a bit faster once... Uh, He's a great scientist. Let's see, is there a better place to build it? 75 turns as well, you can chop two pieces of forest, it's not, not that great really. I am gonna build it in the capital. Operation Forest Chop is well on the way as you can see. You want to trade a world map and you give us 140 gold. I like that. It will give us some insight in uh, in how the world looks. Ah, here are the Jippos. They have an island all of their own on the South Pole. Can't we trade with you for some resources? You have crab and fur. I like them both. Give me the fur. Fur gives happiness and gives another happiness if you have a marketplace, or in my case, a forum. And I will pause the recording a second to see how my hard disk is being gobbled up because these videos are huge. Hang on. And I'm back. Um, I have about 70 gigabytes left on my uh, hard disk I reserved for Let's Playing, so I think that's 15 minutes or something. <laughs> Um, I'll play a little more and then I'll see if I can make this into a nice big uh, long video and upload it over the next few days. Nice! Everything is up going the way I planned for the moment. <sighs> Peaceful and uh, I hope you don't find it boring. I like building uh, in this game. And there will be plenty of war, don't worry. I always want to secure an island just for myself. So my immediate neighbors are in trouble. You can now vote. Apparently the next candidate is the Egyptians. I will vote for myself, of course. Now I can build uh, the palace here as well, or the university I mean, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I will wait until the workboat arrives and then set Rome to a bit more of a building configuration. So how is temple finished? You can actually see the hammers now, it's pretty nice. Let's do a granary anyway. In fact, you go over here, because this is a medic, I want that guy in the front line. You want priesthood for 160, I uh, don't mind. Anybody else want priesthood? Yeah, Cyrus does. This is a real good beaker multiplier. Mm, somebody has feudalism, which um, gives him an awesome defense unit, a longbowman, which means uh, by now my... Um, Victorians are outdated when it comes to offense, um, but they're still pretty good. Do you want to trade this for anything? Could you spare this for an old friend? No? You <laughs> want three technologies for it. You know what? Screw you. World map, sure, and 130 gold. Well, you want it just for philosophy. Hmm. Tempting. It's actually a pretty good deal. Philosophy will get him a notch closer to um, liberalism, but I will win that race. Why not? 
I will to my Lord be true and faithful, and love all which he loves, and shun all which he shuns. These are pretty good. Strength 6, we got a first strike, we got a hill and city defense bonus. Which stacks if the city's on the hill. And I can implement serve them, which will um, build my workers a little bit faster. Make them build a little bit faster. Finish the Korf house. In fact, do these in between. Forty-five turns, and it's uh, growing pretty rapidly. Cyrus has completed the statue of Zeus. Zeus. Um, great profit, forty-one percent chance now, and it will be about fifty turns. Uh, if I get it, I'm not sure if I'll take Divine Right. Um, I think it will take about fifty turns to get Liberalism too. So uh, we'll see. Get these cities some uh, improved tiles. I have been neglected because I've been wielding uh, the palace. Got a granary over here. It's a really smelly city, but it's uh, pretty damn good. The granary actually took care of some of the health problems it had. Um, let's do a library. The more gr the more scientists we run, the better it is. Any city of decent size will have to have a library and run to scientists. World map and 45 gold, thank you. Yes, and get you to the front line. I think uh, I'm call uh, call this a session. Um, I see we also have a workboat to build. Let's do that so I don't forget next time. Um, I will save it right here over uh, Let's Play and uh, see how big this video is going to be. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you're enjoying this, uh, even though it's a bit of a peaceful uh, building game for now. I like it and I will definitely uh, do more of this uh, in the future. I'll see you in the next video, I hope, and bye bye. <laughs>